Hey everyone, before we jump into this week's video, I do want to take the next 60 seconds to talk about an ongoing issue that's going on in this country. Too often we're hearing reports of black lives being killed by those sworn to protect us. The murder of George Floyd was just another example of many black lives killed by a police officer. The deep-rooted racism in this country needs to come to an end. There is no reason why black people should be afraid to do normal everyday activities that I am not. It is unfair and inhumane to allow a group to continue to be oppressed like this. I know my platform is by no means large, but I do have an audience. I am using this time to inform you all of what we can do to help. Firstly, in the description down below, I attached as many petitions and useful resources that I could find. I encourage you all to sign them as I have as well. This is the bare minimum and does not take much effort to do. Secondly, also in the description down below, I have also attached links to websites to which you can make donations to those directly affected by these events. Thirdly, it is important that going forward we make our best efforts to put an end to any prejudice, racist, discriminatory actions that we see. Being silent is no longer an option. Silence is violence. This is all our fight. All lives can't and don't matter until black lives matter. So now getting into the video that you all clicked on, obviously today I'm going to be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial while drunk. I haven't made a video on here where I was like completely drunk in a while, like it's been a little too long overdue, and I have all this paint left over from last week's video, which if you haven't seen yet, make sure to click up here. One of these sides, I don't know which side it's gonna be on, but click up here to watch last week's video in which I painted my beer pong table and customized it, which was a lot of work. And this week I just kinda of wanna relax a little bit and I have all this paint left over from that. So I was like, you know what? Might as well paint something while drunk. I've never attempted to paint something other than what I did last week either. So this is gonna be really interesting, especially trying to follow a tutorial. And while drunk, it's gonna be a mess. I'm going to be drinking this wine right here. It's um, watermelon sangria. So I've been drinking a lot of wine lately because I noticed that I get like less of a hangover the next day so that's what we're going with right now this is 7.5 percent alcohol which isn't really a lot so i'm gonna finish this bottle and then i have another wine that's like i think 12 or 13 percent and that's what i'm gonna drink after this you know like get myself like this is to like cleanse my palate you know and then the other one i'll like come in with after so i'm gonna finish this real quick and then i will come back once i finish this with an update on how i'm feeling okay so i'm gonna go drink this and now we have finished the entire bottle. Now we are here. This one was 7.5%, which wasn't the greatest, but then we moved on to this one, which was 12%. So we went on this, we, we moved on to this 12% bottle. Mind you, I drank this entire one by myself. Now we're on to this one that's 12%. So, um, yeah. I honestly was like, I'm not that drunk. Like, I'm just drinking wine, like what can that do? But like after drinking this 12% wine, like, and walking to this room, I was like, okay, if you're sitting down, like you don't get the full measures of it until you stand up and then you're like, whoa, what's going on? I'm like impaired to some degree. So it's like, you know what, let's just, let's just do it. I haven't even had the chance to like look up like what tutorial I'm gonna follow. So, oh, I really would love to do a sunset painting. Now that I'm drunk, let's go ahead and follow this painting tutorial that I have never watched. And I'm trying to like be there for you guys, but I like mentally I'm somewhere else, okay? So we are going to follow this wine tutorial in my kitchen because it's a little dark in here, okay? So let's move to the next location, okay? Oh wow, okay, we're recording. Okay, so I found this easel at Michael's and it was 40% off, so I had to build it myself, but I did a pretty okay job. It's not great, it's not how it was supposed to be, but it's standing, okay? And I also bought this canvas set, and there's two in here, so I have two. I guess that's just in case like I f up the first one, but this first one, this one has a hole in it, so I'm definitely not using that one. I'm so sorry, I previously apologized for the camera angles, okay? It's not gonna be straight 100%, but... Okay, so it's not going great. Installing this was not the funnest. I guess that's why it was 40% off. Oh my God.
It may be that I'm a little drunk, and it also may be because these four step instructions suck. I mean, I can't get the canvas to stay on there. It was impossible to set up, okay? So I tried to use tape, which um, didn't help. So it's a piece of shit, okay? It can't be put together, so that's that. I'm sorry the lighting looks different now, but um, wow, I am drunk for no reason. Anyway, the easel I decided just to tape up here instead of using the easel because the easel wasn't helping anybody. I got all of my paints right here lined up next to my canvas. I was like, okay, let me just eat a bite of pizza before like everything just like goes down real quick. And the bottle just exploded all over me, like literally. This is what I'm dealing with right now, so yeah. So there's ranch everywhere. If this lighting is bad, I'm so sorry. Currently I am drunk as so I can't do anything about it. In the future, also I can't do anything about it because this is the best I have to work with. If you guys wanna donate to me, um, best thing you can do is subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope that next time is better than what you've got right now. So right now I am working in my kitchen. I have taped my canvas to my wall. I'm gonna take a drink for how bad this lighting is. This is for you guys, I'm so sorry. Now that we've gotten past how bad the lighting is, let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So this Bob Ross tutorial has been viewed 3 million times, so I'm assuming it must not be terrible. Unlike this lighting, I can't get over how bad the lighting is. This Bob Ross tutorial is called a Sunset Aglow. I bought this paint tray so we could put multiple colors on it at once and just go from there, okay? At the beginning of the video, he lists the colors that we're gonna need. I bought this big brush, since last time I didn't have a really big brush. So I've dipped into all the colors that he said that were needed for this. I've got my palette right here, so that's what we're gonna work with. Um, he said the first color we were going to dip into, he said the first color, okay, I'm drunk, I'm sorry. The first color he said we were going to dip into was the yellow. Okay, so the very first color is a color that I don't have on here yet. He said it's just like right here in the middle. We're just going to go with this left and right stroke that he did. Which is kind of just like what he did. How does it look so far? Great, right? Okay. Okay, now without cleaning the brush, we're gonna dip into our mustard yellow in the palette. We're just gonna dip a little bit in there without cleaning the brush. And we're just gonna do a nice little understroke. Okay, nice little, nice little understroke into that. That blends beautifully, okay. Without cleaning the brush, we're gonna dip into our red right here to which we are going to, we're gonna be very careful with the red. So we're gonna paint this bottom portion right here. We're gonna do this bottom part red right here. We're just gonna paint this bottom part right here red because that's what he did. Okay, no more white spots. Okay, so I did a little bad right here on this part where he said to blend it, but you know, whatever, we're gonna move on. I, I'm gonna do a dark black mixed with um, a little bit of crimson, as he calls it, to mix for that, that dark purple color that we're needing here. Mixed with a little bit of dark blue. Okay, I think this is the color. I think this is it.
Mind you, I'm no painter, so if this is wrong, then yeah, it's wrong. I would be here. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got some on the wall here, which is not what we want to do. We want to make sure to stick to the canvas. I'm getting a lot on the walls. Um, we're gonna want we're gonna want to stay away from that area, okay? I'm giving my own kind of tutorial here in case you're making yours on the wall. It looks nothing like Bob Ross's tutorial, but we're just gonna go ahead and move on ahead from this step. This little brush right here, and just add a little bit of blue, like how he did up here. This looks awful. It basically says like, just do whatever you feel is right with these clouds and just let it take away, okay? So we're just gonna dip into our palette right here. We're just gonna get grab a little bit of the red right here, okay? And just mix it in a little bit with the white that we have going on, okay? And just mix it around a little bit and this is what we really one right here okay so we're just gonna like just like draw some and it's free spirited so like however you want it to feel is just what's going to go on right here and just not like too much into the yellow no boundaries to what you want to go on so it's just like whatever you want is what will be right here my clouds look nothing like his so um This looks not great, I'm gonna say. On camera, it might look a little bit better, but in real life, not perfect. I'm just gonna have to go out on a limb here and say, it's not great, okay? How does that look? Awful? Yeah. He's like so good with it and he's doing things that I'm not. I'm like really trying to follow along, but I still have this like hard, contrast here that's not really blending with the original. Bob, come on now. You're not even making this easy for me. All right. I get carried away sometime. Yeah, you do. All right, let's do this. Let's put a nice dark cloud in here. This here. looks f***ing terrible. Absolutely sparkle. I'm trying to follow along with him, but he's just making it so hard. Wait, what is he talking about right now? Oh my god, I just did my whole finger in white. I'm trying to let them happen, Bob, but it's not looking like how yours is looking. Did my laptop just die? We're f***ing kidding me right now. This rascal Aww. is something else. I have never seen a squirrel. What does that have to do with this the painting, sure though? I'm just gonna go ahead and... Okay, we clearly need more purple. A lot more purple. Because all we have right now is black. Okay, so we've got the bottom kind of painted how he wants it. Okay, so my Y line is clearly much larger than his is. Ball brass is too much for me, honestly. Like, I'm about to fall asleep. The top. Okay. And then on some instances, this tree is gonna be like longer on outsides, but like not on some. You know, like how a tree does. 
Wow, my tree looks awful compared to his. I don't understand why he has like so little and I have so much. Um, and he added some white to make it look better, which um, I don't think is gonna help mine at all. Yeah, no, it didn't. Can't fix it at all. Okay. So. Just enough so you know there's a little green over here too. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. <laughs> Just drop it in. The sky looks awful. I thought the ground was gonna tie this together and it just doesn't. It just doesn't tie it together and I thought that's what would. And you're telling me that, that we're almost done? Oh, does that look better? Now that it's mixed, huh? We're done? There's no more steps? Bob, this looks awful. On top of that, Bob, I have a few complaints, if you care to listen. You never told me when to switch brushes, okay? I've been using the same brush this entire time. When was I supposed to use a detailed brush? You never told me when to switch brushes. This is what I have. And granted, it looks a little better on camera and it might look like to you, but it looks like even more in person. Which one looks better? Mine, right? I look like I have one mountain and he has like three with three dimensional. And this is what I got. Let's untape it and see what, what's happened. I honestly don't understand why there wasn't more instructions. Like those, those 25 minutes flew by. This is what I got. There was no more instructions given to me, so this is like what we ended up with. The painted border was actually low key a move. Like from a distance, it looks kind of cute, right? It looks kind of good from a distance, which I'm very impressed with myself. This was pure drunkness that created this and I'm very impressed with myself. Give me a huge thumbs up down below because I was able to do that while drunk. Your fave could never. I think the tape as a border accidentally helped because I was not intentional whatsoever. I need to put my initials at the bottom. Hold on. Make sure to subscribe to my, make sure to, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every Saturday, which means that you get a new video every Saturday. Also, share this video to your friends who can paint as good as me or your artistic friends. Also, give this video a big thumbs up down below because I painted that while drunk. And also, Black Lives Matter. See you guys next week. Bye.